Chicken scallopini in lemon caper sauce with spinach. This is a simple recipe. It's a delicious and it's light and it's easy to make. So let's start. A nice chicken breast and we're gonna cut it into scallopini. Scallopini is usually a cut of meat that is cut very thin. It's cut a little bit on the bias. And this, I'm gonna just pound it and it's gonna be fine. Let's do this one. Sometimes you get chicken cut into scallopini and you can buy that. That's easier for you. Okay. So, two nice size of chicken breast gave me a nice size of scallopini. Now we're gonna pound it just a little bit. Plastic wrap usually helps the situation so you don't break it up. Okay, let me do the, the flat side here. And as you can see, I do it slowly and I kind of push it a little bit to the side, just like that. Okay. So that's here. So we're going to need a little bit of flour, some oil, and I'll put a little bit of butter in there. Uh, you know, butter sort of lowers the heat uh, in the pan. Olive oil gets to a little higher temperature than butter does. So if you put the two of them, usually it works just fine. Let's just put it like this. I want to salt it a little bit, and I can do it right here. Just like that, and just like that, just a little bit, because we'll salt the, the sauce. Lightly flour it, and I don't want to overcrowd it because this way each piece will cook quicker. And you don't have to fully cook the meat in this step. You're gonna make the sauce, you're gonna make a pan sauce, you're gonna re-enter the, the meat into the sauce, and it's gonna be done. And mild heat will really leave the chicken tender. And of course, the question is not to overcook it. You want the chicken cooked, but you don't want to overcook it. Yes. Okay. So, the first step is, is done. So let me clean up, let me get the next ingredients, and we'll continue with this quick and easy recipe. Here I am again in my library. So here I have Christine. She sent me a video. Hi Lydia, it's Christine Fox from New Jersey. One food group I'm always trying to get my two kids to eat more of is vegetables. Do you have any creative ideas for incorporating more vegetables into dinner? We love your recipes. And tutti a tavola a mangiare. Ah, brava Christina. Tutti a tavola a mangiare, you're back in your family. Uh, vegetables and children, you know, are, have always been a point of contention. So you need to be smart and incorporated. What do kids love? Kids love pasta. Make a pasta sauce and put something that they like. Do they like bacon? Do they like sausages? And uh, cut the vegetables uh, small, you know, so they're not so dominant. Or just making vegetables tasty. Do it the Italian way, in the pan, strascinati with a little bit of garlic, a little bit of oil. Saute it nice, give it all that flavor, and adding bacon or putting cheese on top, either just put a lid on that and the cheese will melt, or put it in the oven for a few minutes and you get that crispy top. So, Christina, thank you. Keep on cooking, love your questions, and keep on writing. Ciao. Let's do the spinach now and just finish the chicken. And so, spinach. Uh, you know, you can get smaller leaf spinach, whatever it's in season. I like this. Make sure you wash it well. And, you know, you're going to say, oh, can I use frozen spinach? Uh, you could. You could, but you have to give it some flavor. Even if you have the frozen spinach, here we go. Flavor it like this with some garlic. And get the garlic just a little bit golden, and this will give a lot of flavor to the spinach. Let's put the spinach right in here. Vegetables done like this in the pan, it's called strascinati in Italian, which means dragged in the pan. Let's add some salt, some peperoncino, just to give it a little flavor. And so I am looking at the spinach let out the wrong 
water so let's cover it and let it just kind of wilt and the sauce will be made out of these ingredients and the spinach is done it's that easy so i'm going to put it right since this is a quick recipe right in the spot where it's going to be and i'll leave it all on the mound so it doesn't cool so Let's put some butter, let's get the sauce going. Just a little bit of oil. And I'm gonna put the lemon slices in there. I kind of like to find a, a, a cooked or a browned little lemon slice with my chicken in the dish. Okay, let's put the lemon juice right in here. A little bit of wine. Capers. Mm. So, right in the pan, all that's remained from frying the chicken, even the garlic from the spinach, it all is part of this delicious sauce. Salt, I need to put some salt, I need to season that. A little bit of stock. And we're going to slide the chicken right back in there and let the chicken finish cooking right in the sauce. So what's next? Parsley. Let's chop the parsley. And I like to use the flat Italian parsley. I think it has more flavor. So let's put the parsley in there. And you put the parsley in the last kind of few minutes because you don't want it to change color. And you know, it's a good habit to taste your sauce. Mmm, nice, puckery good. I'm gonna close the heat. I am making sure that all of the chicken is flavored. I am going to spread my spinach just like that. And where is Lydia's plate? Just like that. Let me put a little bit of spinach just for Lydia. Now you see, you know that spinach reduces itself a lot. So you want more? Just add more spinach. So I'm going to layer this. Uh, lemon. Let's put Lydia's piece right here. And Lydia's piece of lemon and the sauce. You see the sauce is quite nice. This looks good. So let me bring this to the table because it's finished, because it's delicious, because it's hot. Let's sauce Lydia's piece, just like that. And you can see the pieces of lemon and capers bring a lot of flavor to this dish. I have some lemon, some chicken. Where's the spinach? Delicious, it's refreshing, nice acidity, mouthful of lemon, sweetness of spinach, and the chicken is nice and moist. So I'm talking, talking, but I really want to invite you too because there's plenty here. So, tutti a tavola, a mangiare, come. I will continue to eat and drink until you get here. Get here fast. Us Italians are eating and sitting at the table and talking, and inevitably the subject goes, what's for dinner or what's for the next meal. We need to know what's gonna be on the table next. And I know that all of you at home, you get this opening the door. Hey, Ma, what's for dinner? Uh, the chores never stop. But think about it. Ma, what's for dinner? They're depending on you. They're asking for nourishment. They're asking for that connection. And this is a unique opportunity to really put out love through food. For me, it's a gift. For me, it gives me great pleasure to cook and to give. Something that I made that people take in and ingest and make part of who they are. And you know, get the family involved. Get them to set the table. Get them to wash the dishes. Set up rules and let them understand the importance of that meal and let them understand the efforts and the love that you're giving through that meal. And you know, 
The end of a meal, especially if it's a nice festive meal, is one where everybody's really relaxed and happy. Inevitably, in our family, you know, after having a little vino, a little grappa, the singing started. And we would all start in a song, and especially Nona, she was the leader of it. And on that note, let Nona lead us to the table. Bebevano i nostri padri? Sì! Bebevano le nostre madri? Sì! E noi che figli siamo, beviamo, beviamo, beviamo. E noi che figli siamo, beviamo, beviamo, beviamo.